In this session, we'll be discussing about reproduction in bacteria. And that too, we'll start with asexual reproduction. If you can look, like in asexual reproduction method, I'll be teaching you two methods. One is fission and another is endospore formation. Now, what happens during fission? Fission is the most common method in bacterial reproduction. Most of the bacteria, they divide with the help of fission. What happens in fission? You have one particular bacteria which will be growing in the size, the cytoplasmic content will increase, maybe because of the duplication of DNA, duplication of uh, cytoplasmic content. And then this cytoplasm will be equally dividing into two, and that's how you get two bacteria. So this is what happens in bacterial reproduction, which is fission. Now, when you look particular fission, this is amitotic type. Amitotic means there are no spindle fiber formation and all. The process is not normal like mitosis. So there are no spindle fiber formation and everything. Now when you look about this particular fission in detail, there are three steps involved. These three steps are first of all, there will be the replication of DNA taking place. You will have this DNA which has to be separated into two different bacteria. So first of all, that DNA has to be duplicated. What happens in this, that is, let's suppose you have this particular bacteria and I've already told you the DNA of this bacteria, it's circular. So what happens, first of all, this DNA gets combined with this membrane structure. I've told you, like in membrane, cell membrane, you have the mesosomes. So mesosome gets combined with this particular DNA and now the DNA will be duplicated into two. So that's the replication of DNA will be taking place and the time it is getting duplicate, the DNA breaks into two pieces like this. So the DNA will be breaking into two pieces that is forming some theta shaped model which is called theta model of bacterial fission, theta model of bacterial DNA replication. This particular method was seen by a scientist called Karens. It is also called Karens theta model. It was one among the questions and aims that they have asked you the bacterial DNA replication follows which model? The answer would be Karens theta model. The time your DNA is duplicated, the mesosome will divide. The mesosome, this is mesosome, so there will be another mesosome. This mesosome will be pulling this part of DNA and this mesosome will be pulling this part of DNA. So there's two DNA are pulled. You can see the DNA are pulled. And what happens, this cross wall formation starts. You can see this constriction are starting. So the cross wall formation starts. And this continues, the, what you call the furrow, they will be keep on growing inside. When they will be reaching inside, there will be the complete separation and the cell will separate. So you will get two daughter cells after this fission. Now the bacteria from here to here that it is growing in size and after growing in size, the bacteria is dividing into two. This will require some time and this particular time, it's called generation time because this is one generation of bacteria. Apart from generation time, it is also called duplication time. Duplication, it's like the bacteria is duplicating or it is also called doubling time. So always remember, the bacteria when it is divided into two, that takes some time, which is called generation time, doubling time or duplication time. For most of the bacteria, the duplication time is counted as 20 to 40 minutes. Now it can vary with the bacteria, but most of the bacteria divides into 20 minutes. Next slide, next topic we'll be talking about the asexual reproduction in bacteria which will be endospore formation.